Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Shane. Polestar has released a Polestar 2 Experimental High Performance Limited Edition model. Now the EV maker announced plans to make and sell 270 units of the 476 horsepower fastback sedan with 47 of those vehicles intended for the US market. The Polestar 2 BST Edition 270, named for the number of vehicles that will be built, will be available exclusively in Europe, China, and North America. The modified Polestar 2 features a dual motor configuration that has been tuned to pump out 476 horsepower, compared to 408 horsepower in the production version. The vehicle's stance has also been widened by 10 millimeters on both sides, and the ride height was lowered by 2 millimeters to improve its track handling. It's even carried a few features from the Polestar's first vehicle, the defunct plug-in hybrid Polestar 1, included a 9 times 21 inches wheels. These are 275-30R21 Pirelli P0 Rosso. These are performance tires, but while the Goodwood version features 6 pistons, egg bono front brakes, this version includes a standard 4 piston Brambo brakes. Now we've got more add-ons that include specifically developed and unique Olin's two-way adjustable dampers with axillarity adjustment chambers mounted onto the bonnet for improved traction and responsiveness. So there's also a front thrust bar for increased rigidity and 20% stiffer springs. Now the available exterior colors are thunder or snow, which sounds like different shades of white, but you can actually request a central matte black racing stripe if you really want to go for a full experience of the limited edition vehicle. Now additionally, the Polestar 2 BST edition will start production in mid-2022, with deliveries planned for fourth quarter of the year. Interesting buyers can join the waiting list at Polestar website, and lucky few who get picked will go through a personalized sale process. Now to give you a little bit of backstory, Polestar actually started out as a performance division within the sub-brand of Volvo. Their job was basically a tuning department for Volvo vehicles, kind of like AMG for Mercedes. But in recent years, Polestar has emerged of one of the most interesting EV companies on the market. They've separated from the Volvo brand fully, but they're still partly owned by Volvo and Volvo's parent company, Geely. Now, don't allow that information to get you confused. Polestar is still its own company at the moment, and they plan on going public quite soon. Towards the end of this month, actually on the 22nd, they will merge with Goes Guggenheim, a SPAC. And a SPAC is a special acquisition company. A SPAC main objective is to merge with a company within its ideal prospects. A lot of popular SPACs these days are EV SPACs. Lucid merged with a SPAC and now Polestar. Some companies choose to go public the traditional way, like Rivian, but you don't have to. Now this car kind of reminds me of the Polestar 1, and this was quite a while ago when Polestar released the $155,000 hybrid coupe that was the Polestar 1, that was their first vehicle. And that was a two-door, extremely fast car, and it's, and it's an hybrid. It uses both electricity motor and an engine. But that car was an extremely limited addition, and as you can see, it was extremely expensive, not meant for the everyday person at all. So naturally, with the Polestar 2 BST Edition 270, it's taking a rather different approach. For one, the Polestar 2 is in full production, and it intends to compete with the likes of the Tesla Model 3. And it's doing a good job so far. They've delivered over 13,000 vehicles in Q1 of this year alone. So why is Polestar doing this? Well, this is an intention of what they intend on doing with the technology that is capable within the Polestar 2. They're showing the world that they're capable of developing this car using the same chassis, the same architecture, to build a better car over time, a faster car over time, and eventually a car that can really outperform almost any gasoline sedan of its same or similar model. For this car specifically, it's able to run up to 100 meters in 20 seconds. That's quite, that's quite impressive. Now we've got some direct quotes from the CEO of Polestar, Thomas Ingolith, and I quote, this is a fun and exciting moment for Polestar. We were really encouraged by the enthusiastic reception we received for the experimental car and we've enjoyed driving 
my own modified pole star too in the last year, which has inspired our Goodwood concept in the first place. It was clear we needed to put a special, more performance-oriented Polestar 2 into production, and that's exactly what they're doing with the Polestar 2 BST. Now we know so far this car will come with a dual motor version, it's a performance pack. But building upon that, the two electric motors are capable of 78 kilowatts per hour. This also comes buying with 680 newton meters of torque along with heightened responsiveness and like I said that just gives you more ability to perform better on tracks if you do intend to take this car to the tracks which a lot of people will. This car is track specific it's performance specific it's like a sports sedan and seeing this car in matte grey it's nothing better with black stripes it's truly stunning that they've made a car that's so unique in its own right because there's nothing else out there that's quite like a Polestar in look or design now we will see this car in two different shades that's thunder or snow the signature Swedish gold detail feature in the existing performance pack remains included on the brake calipers damper elements, valve caps, and seat belts. So that's really good. I've always noticed Polestar has a unique yellow or gold signature for their brake pads, for their seat belts, amongst other things. And I think it gives them a unique touch as a vehicle manufacturer. So Polestar actually released this quite recently, only a couple of hours ago. So this is quite exciting for Polestar fans and anyone who's excited for Polestar. And I can honestly say, Polestar is finally getting the attention they deserve, especially from YouTubers. Because what's more important in the modern EV market today is the attention you get from YouTubers who want to showcase your cars. And I'm gonna make a full video on this subject. So thank you for watching, subscribe to see more, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one.